Hello again everyone and welcome back to Skyrim. We are back here just outside of Hobbsfall Cave, which we just cleared out in the last episode. And there's a random pot there for some reason, who knows why. Um, first things first, let's go and just stab this hawker because we're a lovely person. Oh, it's not, it's not, it's not a hawk, it's a cave bear. Oh. Why do I have a ward on? Oh no, I remember now. Oh, I've also contracted bone break fever. That's just absolutely glorious. Am I now like crippled? Is that is that a thing now? Am I am I just especially crippled? Twenty-five points from stamina. That's that's rough. Right, we may as well go get that stone up there. I I, I don't know what what sign sign that stone is, but we may as well have a wander up there, and then we might. Probably, we should probably go to Dawnstar. Like, in all honesty, like, we should probably go to Dawnstar. Um, just because we're in the area. And, be nice to get another settlement ticked off. Anybody else hear that? Anyone else hear that clacking, or is that just me? Oh, hello there! Why is it always the cultists? Always. Uh, hang on to noose. At last, a worthy of victory is yours. Yeah, victory was mine, wasn't it? Investigate the Boethia cultists. Yeah. Um, Boethia's proving. Was that it? Hang on. Started Boethius calling. Oh my god, we, we, we actually have another shrine quest. Find the shrine of Bo Boethia. The following account is true. May it serve as a warning to those with ears, ears to hear and hearts to know. On a certain day, at a certain time, the faithful gathered to perform certain rituals, hoping to gain a glimpse of their master. The day was correct, the summoning true. Slashing a smoking tear, tear through the veil, she, her very self, appeared before them, terrible and resplendent. She came arrayed in ebony darker than a moonless night, wielding a blade burning hotter than the surface of the sun. And though she wore the guise of a Dunma warrior queen, she towered above them like a, like a statue carved from the Red Mountain itself. Why have you disturbed me? Surprised, the first among us then prayed, O Boethia, pr uh, pr Prince of Plots, Deceiver of Nations, Queen of Shadows, Goddess of Destruction, we come to worship thee. She looked down upon her followers, gathered to bear witness, frowning Shasta first. Tell me, you, you who profess to know me, how shall I know you? Afeard, he exclaimed, each night I pray to thee, each night I call out the, uh, thy wondrous names. Surely thou must recognize the sound of my voice, thy most, dev thy most devoted of believers. She frowned and let out a long sigh, and then, uh, then, uh, then of a sudden he was gone, the air from her lungs di dispersing him. Turning to the second, she asked, And you, how shall I measure the worth of your existence? Stunned by the power of her voice, he bowed before her darkening vis visage. She clapped her hands, and he, and he too was gone. To the third, And you, tell me how, how shall I know you apart from such as were they, of, of whom there is no trace? Shaken and speechless from, from the notifications of his brethren, he whispered, Have mercy upon us. She blinked twice. Once he was in agony, twice he was destroyed. She cast a withering glance across those remaining and said, I do not grant mercy. And so it was with the others, she putting them to proof, they offering none. Finally she came to me, eyes aglow with anger, tongue wet with hate, and said, Of all my believers but two remain. Tell me, second to last, with what shall you prove your existence? Without hesitation, I drew forth my blade and buried it into the chest of the other who stood, be who stood beside me, and without fear replied, Ask him whose blood now, now sprouts from my blade if I exist. She smiled, and the gates of oblivion opened between her teeth. Then she said, Tell me, now last of my followers, wherefore do you remain where the others do not? I retrieved my blade and offered it up, saying, I am alive because that one is dead. I exist because I have the will to do so, and I shall remain as long as there are signs of my handiwork, such as the blood dripping from this blade. Accepting my gift, she nodded and said, Indeed. If in the reading your blood boils in your veins and your mind blazons with fire, then, then Boethia calls you. It is then most wise to heed her call. Find her on the mount 
which overlooks Windhelm. Meet us there and be tested. That sounds frankly horrifying. Not gonna lie. There's another shrine of some description here. Words in philosophy. Grab that. Torch of the Defender. Right. Let's see if we can find a way to wander up to that uh, statue anyway. Oh, the, the stone, sorry. Have we not been to the Shrine of Boethia? I mean, it said it overlooked Windhelm. We have been there. Is that where you had to sac... Is that where you had to sacrifice somebody? Because there was that circle which lit up when someone stood on it. Oh god. Hope you're, uh... Hope you're doing good over there, Stenver. <clears throat> How the hell do you get over there? There must be some little path up there so somewhere. It has to be, right? Can't be too clear a path, but it must be hidden somewhere. We got it? I think we've got it. Yeah, we've got it. Just right at the end of here, I think. I don't know if Stenvar... Yes, Stenvar is able to get up here. I was like, is he, is he going to be able to jump up here? But he's, he's, he's found a way. Stenvar finds a way. Always. Right, so what, so what does this ritual, what ritual stone entail? The tower stone. Those under the side of the tower have the option to automatically open expert or lower locks. Nah. I'd rather level up quicker because I trust my lockpicking skills more than, uh... Like, lockpicking, you have loads of lockpicks and you, you, you kind of know that, that you will get it done eventually. With combat, you know, you want as, you want as much of an advantage as possible because there's no, there's no guarantee that you're actually going to win the fight. Quicksilver all vein, well... Tempting, but we don't we don't actually have a pickaxe. And also, I feel like this is gonna be now really awkward to so actually get back down. I'm gonna go invest Oh my lord, have we ever seen this before? Look at the sky. Isn't that gorgeous? That is a that is a gorgeous looking sky, by the way. It's so good. God damn. Right, I'm gonna go to the shipwreck, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the, go to that barrow that's uh, that's out in the out in the um, out in the distance there. Oh, right, hold on. Stupid snow bear. No, no, oh my lord, no. There we go. There we go. Whew. And we're safe. Right, I don't know how easy it's going to be for us to check the shipwreck. This might be one of those again, which we might just not have the breath capacity to check out. But, I'll have a look at it. I'm, I might have water breathing potions, I don't know. Maybe, I'm not sure. Tell you what, I will I, I will quick save here in case this goes wrong, which which it might well do. Uh, do, do I have a water breathing potion? Can breathe underwater for forty five seconds. I mean, it's something. So if we if we just go over there to begin with, so we can maximize our time, and there'd be underneath here somewhere, won't it? Pilgrim's Trench. Yep. So if we now drink the portion, filter of water breathing. There we go. 
I don't know when when it's going to indicate to me that the portion is, ex is expired. Is 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 my my only worry right now, because I will die very quickly as soon as this expires. It, it must be said. I must admit, it doesn't actually look like there's much down here. Like unless I'm being a bit silly. There's a large sack, which doesn't have as much in as you would hope. This seems to be the main hub of the ship. We must be pushing the end of the uh, end of our portion in a, in, a, in a minute, though, so we're probably going to have to make our way back up. Uh, yeah, we'll call it there. We're only going to be able to get away with this for so long. Right, there we go. I think we did okay there. I don't, I don't know if there's anything else to find down there, but... Um, was that the one that we actually investigated before? I think, I think it was, wasn't it? And I decided to leave it and then come back to it later. Yeah, I think I, I think it was probably probably that very same one. Oh well, we investigated it to to some extent. There is a campfire up there. Why is there a campfire up there? Who's 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 camping? I will have you guys know that while camping is against the, is against the laws of the Skyrim Preservation Society. Good sir. There's no one here. Well, there might have been someone there. For Shelly. Shelly, your ship should have arrived weeks ago and I fear the worst has happened. I've set up camp on this rock as your ship should pass by here and hopefully one of these days we'll be together again. If you're reading this, I'm probably out hunting or bringing in some supplies. I'll be waiting here until I see your face again. Very faithfully yours, Trius. Oh, That's kind of sad. He waited there for her. And, and regrettably... Uh, yeah, didn't seem to go too well. Right, so let's so let's make our way back west, and we'll, we'll check out that barrow, and then we'll probably just press on all the, all the way to Dawnstar, and then we'll kind of uh, refocus our attention from there and check out what, what quests we can do in the area. How much of the map have we now sort of properly looked at? We've done quite well, if you look at it. Yeah, we, we actually have done quite well here. Guess what Guess what cave I completely forgot about as well. Where, where is it? Bloodshill Cavern. We were over there a minute ago. I'll tell you what, we'll go to Dawnstar, and then we'll go back there to Bloodshill Cavern. I've got a plan. It may it may not fully materialise, but but I, I've, I've got a plan somewhere. I feel, like we, I feel like we've spent a good portion of our time in this sort of coastal region of... Skyrim, you know, this like this very icebergy filled uh, northern section. It, it it does feel like the more the more north you go, the, uh, the 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 colder it gets. Is that even a barrow? It might not even be a barrow. Just like sort of the formation of the statues do do sort of scream to me barrow, but it might just be a it might just be a cave. That seems seems to seems to be what the maps indicate anyway. Kill this hawker. I think I may have just uh, I may have just unleashed the wrath of Oh my god, it's a wolf. That that animation will never fail to uh, to, to make me laugh. Just 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 walking up to Oh hi. Just like just, just just walking up to the uh, to, to to the wolf and just full on punting it in the in the stomach, it's cruel but kind of fun. I just I just like to say I do not condone animal cruelty in any way. Uh, against against aggressive wolves in in video games, absolutely. Uh, in real life, absolutely not. Oh hello there. 
Please don't use your fast attacks. Use use your slow ones. Use your slow attacks, you foul creature. He's only a bear, to be fair. It's probably a bit harsh. Nice. We're all good. We're all good. I don't know where Stenbar's gone. He's 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 probably gotten lost. I'm not gonna lie. There's another shipwreck, uh, just off the just off the coast of this island as well, by the looks of things. So I'll quick save here because again, this 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 could go anywhere and anywhere, you know. There's a clear path etched out with all these. Um, Ingvild. Okay, Ingvild. So what's the story behind this place then? There must be something. It's got it's it's got, it's got quite a striking name, Ingvild. What the hell's going on over there? Is there a fire over there? And why is it that sound effect just play? And how the hell has Stenvar still not appeared next to me? Just saying, I've got I've got a couple of questions. I won't lie. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, so this is Ingvild. Okay, let's go inside. Is Stenvar now going to appear next to me? Nope. Uh, that's worrying. Okay. I honestly don't know where the hell he's gone. Just got to get the ball out because I feel the situation probably justified. Uh, we got ball and arrows equipped. Yeah, that's cool. The vibe is like super weird here. I'm not gonna lie. Dead skeleton, half buried in the snow. Totally normal in Skyrim. That's actually not really a lie either. Is that is that a skeleton? That's a Draugr. It's a Draugr white as well. It's not just any Draugr. Cool. We got him. Wasn't sure that that Draugr was actually going to go down there either. Are we good? I think we're good. Yes, we are. I'm hoping I can uh, I can make it all the way through here without the need to without the need of having Stendhal with me. There we go. Which way should we go? So we came in that way. Ah, let's go this way. Probably just pick one way and go through the hell is that? Okay, so that spirit's not friendly either. That's good. Ingvild Ghost. Fantastic. Just what we need. Oh, there's 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 more than one Ingvild Ghost, right? Okay. Why am I being attacked by multiple ghosts? What have I done to deserve this? Health regen, there we go. Okay, we got this. Let's just nope. Oh my lord, okay, hold on. I will kill you. I absolutely will. I'm always going going to fucking kill you. You 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 you're attacking me for Basically no reason. 
Come on, Draugr. What you got? What you got, Draugr? I mean, he's just kind of standing there and just absorbing arrows. Oh, you son of a bitch. Nice. Right. Ghostly remains. It's very on the nose. I'll take my bow and arrows back, thank you very much. Okay, so there are ghosts here which are certainly hostile to intruders. Uh, wait, have we gone backwards? Yes. Yes, we need to go this way, don't we? Yeah, this is the way we were going. Okay, so what was this ghost looking at? Arondil's journal. Day one, it seems the Cretans of Dawnstar are not quite as foolish as I had surmised. They found my experimentations and, needless to say, were not pleased with what they saw. No matter, my work can only flourish without the distractions of living amongst the un unenlightened. I found a cave off the north coast of Skyrim that will be more than sufficient for my continued studies. The ruins of Ingvil should hold the materials I need to learn more about, re re uh, about reanimating and enslaving the dead. On a personal note, I will miss the young maidens of Dawnstar. Such beauty was intoxication. I often found my thoughts wandering around them, imagining secret encounters between myself and one or two of the local girls. Creepy bastard. So we need to retrieve Arundel's journals, whoever whoever Arundel is. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave this up. Oh my god. To apologise, we'll leave this episode here, guys. I uh, hope you all have enjoyed. If you have, then please do like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I shall catch you on the next episode of Skyrim. Thanks again, guys. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Bye-bye.